Hello guys, are you planning to study for free in Norway? Today I'm going to take you through some few steps that you need to know to make the right application. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back. For those who have not yet watched my first video, my name is Jonas. I come from Ghana. I came to Norway in 2012 to do my master's. I graduated in 2014 and I've been working from 2014 to now. I'll be taking you through some few tips that you need to know to make the right application. The first tip is for you to know the type of application you need to uh, apply. There are different types of application for those who are outside Europe those who are within Europe and those who are within the Nordic countries. Actually, international students are described as students that are outside the Nordic countries. Nordic countries are Norway, Denmark, Sweden, Greenland and Iceland. So if you have any basic education, or basic certificate being it's a bachelor's and your higher education if it is outside these countries you are considered as an international student and if you are an international student and you're outside Europe you are also considered differently and therefore there are different requirements for those who are outside EU though they are all international students. So we'll be looking at people who are from Africa and Asia. Uh, you will fall outside EU and therefore you will have different requirements. And this is what we are going to go through. As an example, we'll be looking at three different universities. All these universities have different deadlines and opening times for people who are international students and are living outside Europe and also are living in Europe and those who are living in Norway. So we will be looking at these uh, differences so that you understand that every university has its own deadline of applying to a particular course. I will take three universities, uh, that is University of Tromso, where my younger brother recently graduated, and also University of Stavanger, where myself I graduated, and also University of Oslo, that is the capital of Norway. So we are going to use these three examples to know what we need to know before we don't miss out on our preferred course. The main language in Norway is Norsk. So most of the websites are in Norwegian. So if you go directly to the website of a particular university of your choice, it may be difficult because it is in, uh, in Norwegian. So the first thing is to install Google Chrome. That is the first tip. You have to install Google Chrome and then you can open directly the university's website from there. And then it is easy to what? Uh, translate it and then uh, navigate your way around. For example, we will be looking at University of Oslo. And then as we open, we have uh, the website, uh, which is already in Norwegian. And as international student, it may be difficult for you to navigate your way around. But you can see with the Google Chrome, it is easy to translate and as soon as, as you translate you get every other information there in English or let us maybe go back to the original web page uh, another thing you can do is to look at the menu and when you go to the menu you have to look for the English version of that website so now we will look at the menu here and then you will look for the English version of the website okay so let us 
look at any course international students that we can apply uh, so we, we will open a page here yeah let us take any course for example let's take um, how to medicine as an example uh, we will take any international course here any course uh, and then let us look for the deadline uh, here we go to admission and then we have to fill this form this is a master's student uh, master's program which is two years and unfortunately you have to fill in this form before you can get to the application form so we have to do this unfortunately and i'm from ghana so i'll select ghana and then i'm asked whether i have a permanent residence or uh, in norway basically i'm living here but because we are doing this for international students i'll select no and then you ask do you have your higher education that is the basic education this has to be outside the nordic region so i will select again ghana because that is where i had my bachelor's and then do you have any higher education from other another country which i don't have everything is from ghana so now i can check uh, basically you can see here and these are the basic facts uh, currently applications are not opened and then you can see the opening time or the opening date is on 15th october and then it's going to end on the 15th of november you can see the number of places for students to apply and also it begins when you you receive your admission normally uh, studies begin from august and then it is no tuition you don't pay anything so that is for oslo uh, we will go back again and look to other another university but we will look at uh, university of tromso i want us to look at one website which is already in english and that is easy for you to navigate so let us look at this university study in norway dot no uh, website will be put in the description below so you can check and then uh, navigate your way around so here you can navigate whether you want to come and do bachelor's or master's or one year program but most of these one year programs are in Norwegian so I came to do master's so I'll use master's as, a, as an example and then I did engineering I'll select that so there are so many universities here uh, courses from different universities as you can see here as an example I told you we will be looking at Tromso so when we click on Tromso here, uh, you can see the course that we can apply to. Uh, let us mean uh, any of the courses. Let us take any bi uh, biology. And this is for any course that you see here is actually taught in English. So you can see language of teaching is in English. Uh, so and we can see the deadline here unfortunately we cannot see the opening time so we will go to the website of the university to look for the deadline and then we will go to application there we will see this is an international admissions so this is for the international student and then you can see that it is opened october 1st and will end december 1st so as we speak now applications are open because this video is recorded on the 5th of october so applications are already opened so you can begin by applying and then it will end on 1st of october so you can see this is completely different whilst this application is opened oslo is not opened let us look at another university as an example uh, that is Stavanger University as I told you that is where I went to school 
So we will look for any course in Stavanger. So I did engineering. <laughs> so, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I, I, I will take any engineering course here as an example. And then you can see that there are different opening times and dead, deadlines for different applications. So as an international student who, who are living in outside Europe, uh, that these are described as non-EU applicants. So from Africa, from Asia, then you know that application is going to be open in December. That is when University of Tromso has already ended in 1st December. So some have already ended, some are yet to open. So non-EU applicant you can see is from December 10th to January 10th. And then if you are an applicant still outside uh, the Nordic country but you are in EU, you have 1st February to 1st March. And then if you are in the Nordic region, your deadline is always going to be 15th of April. So we can see that there are different deadlines. So for example, if you had seen this, that uh, this Slavanga University is 10th of uh, January, that is when it begins and you, you think that it's the same for everywhere. And that is mostly the case for bachelors where we come from in Ghana. I think it was almost the same way all the universities were opening at the same time. You may think that it is the same everywhere, but that is not. So the, the advice is this. You should begin your research latest by September and try to navigate to know the course you prefer and know the university that you want to apply to because it is important that you don't miss your course of preference because the university had already closed applications because the deadline has already expired. So this is the tip I want to leave with you. First, you should start your investigation as early as possible and not later by September to prepare yourself to know which course. Another thing is try to use Google Chrome installed to open direct websites from the university's webpage. Again, you can use steadyinnoway.no where the website is already in English and it is easy to navigate your way from there and most of the courses there are already taught in English uh, and also there are different deadlines for different schools so you should know that it is not the same for all universities. Thank you for your time and don't forget to subscribe, like and share and also don't forget to click on the notification button so that you are notified of our next video. Thank you.